Chris Gerhard Schwantner, welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of meeting with Chris Beal, and he is the CEO of Connect and Sell. Welcome, Chris. Good to be here, Gerhard. How has the market changed in the last 18 months? You know what's interesting, what I'm seeing, and of course, as you know, Connect and Sell is in the business of helping people have phone conversations. What I'm seeing is two things that are very favorable for us. I mean, that's probably why I noticed them. One is that people seem to be coming back to using the phone as an important part of sales and saying that they're doing it. I think they were doing it all along, but it's now okay to be somebody who reaches out by telephone and talks to people. And uh, it's interesting. It's kind of almost a movement around that. The other thing is outbound, and, and these are related, outbound has made a comeback. And I think outbound is making a huge comeback in B2B. So that's what, that's what we're seeing. Now, the other thing that's happening is what I'll call the rise of AI. And, uh, you know, AI is what people say AI is, not, not real AI. Some of it is actual AI. Some of it is no more than some simple form fills or programmatic stuff. But people are getting very interested in using automation either to listen or to read or to emit output in the form of email. Who knows? Maybe they'll have AI talking someday. What, about, what is your view on the use of bots in uh, inside sales? You know, I think they're usable for certain kinds of simple interactions, but the problem still today with AI kinds of things, bots among them, is that they have a tendency to make the silly errors. There's a great video showing two bots talking to each other, and it's not so much that they say weird stuff, even though they do say weird stuff once they get in a conversation with each other, it's that they jump on top of each other's words. They don't pause in a way that's natural. They don't sound like somebody that you would trust. Do you think that uh, this will change and bots will evolve and uh, take inside sales jobs? I think that bots will take some inside sales jobs, but I think that the core dynamic is that in B2B sales, the buyer has got to get to the point where they trust the seller more than they trust themselves. And the bot is always owned by the seller. And it's kind of funny. In a way, a great salesperson is treated as a little bit of a defector from their company. That is, when I buy from you, if you're selling to me in B2B, I truly have to believe that you have my best interest at heart. I don't have to believe that about your company. And when the company controls and makes the bot, I will never believe that the bot has my best interest at heart. What was your most recent win for Connect and Sell that was really big and uh, uh, put you on a growth curve? Well, something that just happened that I was very excited by was that uh, we just did our first deal with Thomson Reuters. And it wasn't so much the size of the deal or the size of the company. It was the spirit of their sales team and the fact that I've been talking with them about potentially doing something for three, maybe four years. So it's been a long time coming. And when we finally went and did the test drive, and as you know, we do these things we call the connect and sell intensive test drive. It, I can only describe it as a delightful experience. And then we did another one that I didn't get to attend and I heard it was delightful. And then two days after Christmas, we did one where they had a team that I think sold 41 deals during the test drive of two point something hours. And that was exciting. So I feel like we're getting launched with a company that really has a sales culture that fits what it is that we provide. And I think it'll also be pretty big because they're not a small company. What about the A.H. Robinson? Oh, C.H. Robinson, uh, love to be in the logistics space. Uh, these folks are incredibly sophisticated about their business. And what I like about what they're doing is they're very consciously and scientifically looking for the great use cases. You know, Connect and Sell is like a, a, a supercar. It goes really, really fast. So if you're going to use it in order to you know, go to the store or whatever, it's probably not so great. But if you can find a great use case, then that's when it really kind of flowers. And they're very systematic about finding the great use cases. Share with us uh, some acceleration numbers that uh, you routinely publish on LinkedIn. Well, in general, the way it works is this. The average salesperson top of the funnel in B2B might have 50, 60 dials a day. They're probably being asked to do that. I've been in shops where they'll actually do 100, and they might talk to four or five people. They'll often over-report the number of conversations that they have, but when you really dig in, you find out that they're talking to four or five decision makers a day. With Connect and Sell routinely, and this is whether in a test drive or whether in full production, those numbers go from 50 or 60 dials a day to 
Numbers like $125 an hour are done effortlessly. The rep doesn't do anything. They may go from four conversations a day to 30 or 40 or 50 conversations a day. And you know, the numbers are spectacular. Everything else runs with the numbers, with the conversation numbers. But the big deal is what happens to the spirit of the, of the selling floor. It's so much more fun to talk to people and get that silent sales floor to go away and be replaced with something that's bubbling with energy. And I think that changes things more maybe even than the velocity, although without the velocity, you wouldn't change. Thank you very much. If you want to have more fun in your inside sales team, go and visit connectandsell.com. Thank you. Thanks, Garrett.